Welcome to this new how-to. In this how-to I will show you how you can hide the pushback truck. Well, the default one. That's <laughs> what we're gonna try. Uh, it's based on a question I got from someone who saw one of my previous videos. And to be honest, I didn't find the solution myself, but I found it on one of the forums from uh, PMDG. Uh, posted by, uh, I think it was, uh, his name was uh, Wonderboy. Uh, yeah, Wonderboy, he posted something about it uh, and he explained how you can disable it, right? Because by default, you can see the default pushback truck here, but if you now go into the uh, FMC or the computer and then say pushback truck and select the pushback truck, which is part of the PMDG, you will see that you've got two, one, uh, or two of those trucks. In this case, it's in front of the aircraft, but I've also seen scenarios where this one will be moved, I would say, almost into the engines. So, let's see how we can fix it, right? And to do that, I do recommend you to either uh, completely shut down Flight Simulator and then restart it. Uh, or if you didn't start Flight Simulator yet, you don't need to close it, of course. Because that's really critical, because it needs to pick up that change, uh, else and that's only done, I would say, as part of the uh, say initial start process of Flight Simulator. So, it's uh, closed as we speak. So, what you need to do is you need to go to the folder where you installed the aircraft. And in my case, that's uh, in a different folder. But at the end, it still is into the community folder. There you will find the PMDG aircraft uh, 737. And there you will find the sim objects, airplanes, and there you will find the three types, right? So if I click here, you can see the 700, the 700 BBG, and the 700 BDSF. So what you need to do is to go inside that folder, and there you will find a file called aircraft.config. And that's the file which we need to modify. So I'm going to close it or zoom out and then i'm gonna simply open it and that can be done with with any text editor right uh, it really depends on uh which one you prefer but in my case I'm simply gonna use notepad there you will go down into that file and you go to the services section the services section describes which services are available for that aircraft so in this case there's no fuel truck no baggage loader no catering etc because they all have been set to zero However, if you look at pushback, it's set to 1, which makes it possible to have the default pushback truck. So what we need to do is simply modify this value to 0. So I will do that. I will modify it to 0 and then simply save that file. The good thing is that I already did it for the, I would say, 737-700. So I don't need to fully restart Flight Simulator, but I can simply sh show it using a different type. So we're gonna go back in Flight Simulator and go to the world map. Uh, then make sure that we're departing from here. Make sure that we're selecting the correct type. So the 700, uh, that's fine. And then click on fly. Uh, what you will see now is that the default pushback truck uh, will be gone. So that's good, right? Because that's what we are looking for. Uh, we want to remove it uh, because it can cause all kind of, I would say, uh, conflicts. I do expect, but that's just, I would say, an assumption that it's a bug in the, uh, the in the aircraft. And the reason why I say it is for, I would say, all the aircrafts, including the, I would say, 700. If, I, if you go into that uh, aircraft, that config file, you will see that all the services are set to zero, right? Uh, well, not all services, but I would say almost 100% of those services. The only two services which are available are the Marshaller and the uh, Jetway. Like the fuel truck, the baggage loader, the catering, everything has been set to zero. And that's due to the fact that PMDG has added their custom uh, trucks. So I do think that in the future, a PMDG might fix it. Uh, if they don't fix it, and that's another remark, uh, you will need to make this modification the next time that you update it. Um, the PMG 737-700. So I'm gonna click on ready to fly and you already see the difference, right? There's no pushback truck here, so that's good. So let's uh, call the own or the PMG pushback truck. Uh, so FS actions, uh, pushback. And now we will see that we only have one pushback truck in front of the aircraft. So 
that's how you can fix it really easy fix don't forget that you might need to reapply it once uh, PNG releases an update unless they release an update which I say disables this option here ends this video again kudos to Wonderboy who pointed to this option uh, without I would say his help I pro probably wouldn't have found it uh, so I also learned something new today which is always good here ends this video I hope you liked it if you liked it then consider to use the like button if you got questions or comments then feel free to post them in the comment box below and if you want to stay up to date about new videos I'm creating then make sure that you're subscribing to my channel thanks for watching and see you next time